So it almost even didn't happen. Yeah. I'm glad it did though because really close, like the yeah. next day you called me. Hey lady. Hey lady. Hey lady. To start this story, we actually have to go way back in the past. Me and Jeremiah, about like four years ago. But me and Jeremiah had a group called Miller and Howell, and we would busk all the time. Those of you that don't know, busking is street performing. That's what it means. People would be like this to us. People we would something. be like that to us. So me and Jeremiah, besides Miller and Howell, we've known each other forever. Kind of doing music together has been something that's very natural. Actually, over quarantine, uh, whenever that first hit, and I think March or April, whenever that hit, we had a a Jude. buddy in town, Jude, me, Jeremiah, and Jude all kind of came together. And how that happened was you were actually making some songs with my dad in his studio, mm -hmm. and you just happened to be here. And I was like, hey, you want to just like stay the night? But like, let's make a song tonight yeah. and like tomorrow. And so that's how My Kind of Beautiful got started. And if y'all don't know that song, you should check it out. But after we released My Kind of Beautiful, everyone just seemed to really like it. It got some really good traction. And so. As of recently, we were like, hey, like people really like this. We put that song out like five months ago as of the recording of this video. We're like, let's do another song. And that's how Hey Lady, the idea to make it started. And Hey Lady is kind of similar to My Kind of Beautiful in some way. It's, you know, that kind of pop love song. And uh, this one's a little bit different because My Kind of Beautiful is kind of, you know, talking to the, the girls that maybe feel like they're not enough. But this is kind of a tribute to our future wives. Uh, yeah. Me and Jamaka are kind of like in the same kind of space where it's like <laughs> we're kind of just chilling out right now, not really actively looking for a girl right now because we're trying to, you know, work on our futures and stuff. What's the what's the lyric about the halo? Like, uh, like oh, when I see that halo. Oh yeah, lyric. when I see that halo passing when I by. See that halo oh, it's in the verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what it is. It's basically like my friends told me to lay low. Like it's time to like chill out. But when I see that halo passing by, I can't help but think that you know that might be her. It's yeah. kind of just weird to. See. You know, if you see anyone with a halo, <laughs> you know? yeah. I talk to my parents a lot about like their relationship. They're, they're happily married, been married for 10, 20,000 years or something years. like that. Yeah. 100 <laughs> years or so. And my dad talks about whenever he realized that my mom was the one, there was a sparkle in her eyes and in no one else's eyes. So that's kind of the, that's the halo in this scenario. And also, you know, tribute to, you can be my halo. The first night we started working on it, we were working on it for like three hours or so. Oh like, yeah, sometimes it'd be that way. Going like, with writing it, it because we're like, yeah, I was like, kind of the thing with me whenever I'm doing collabs with people, especially when a song's brought to me, and I've not, I've not done a ton of this, but usually I'm like, okay, if I want to make this something that I would sing, we're going to have to, regardless of how good lyrics are, it's like we're going to have to change it to kind of fit who I am too. And so that was really just that intense process of like measuring and Fitting, trying to make a suit that fits both people, you know, can yeah. be a hard thing sometimes. But there is an easy compromise, and so that yeah, that was just yeah. a night of grinding it out, you yeah. know. But like we were hitting some creative blocks a little bit just because we were on different like levels. Like I wanted to be more like, well, I wanted to be more like flirty and stuff like that, and you yeah. like wanted to be a little more. And I said, serious, what, is, I said what does that mean? No, what you said is like you were like, I'm not a flirty guy. I'm not. That's the thing. It's I like, said you can be. That suit. That suit. Yeah, that suit's tailored for you, and it, but it doesn't also fit me. We were almost arguing about it, and then uh, oh, we were arguing. We were, <laughs> but yeah. in a friend way. Yeah, not really. We were throwing punches and stuff, but oh, nothing's dude. major. Hopefully, we don't throw punches because <laughs> obviously, I mean, I beat Jeremiah. <laughs> so it almost even didn't happen. Yeah, I'm glad it did though. Because really close. Like, the yeah. next day, you called me. Yeah, I would just like drove home after that because like we ended it on that. It was like, all right, we might not do this together. So I drove home on my, on, by myself, just kind of thinking and stuff, and I was like. The next day, I just was like, man, I, I can just, you know, I, I just think that this is an us song, so I was just like, all right, let's do it. And then yep. we find the next session, it came way so more much easier. Through. Yeah, it came. Word of advice to, you know, any creatives that are listening: when you're working with other people, just go ahead and apply patience. And if you're like stuck, just like let it breathe yeah, and then come yeah. back to it. Yeah. Cool thing about the production of Hey Lady: first thing I thought of was this is an arts and crafts song, and like what I'm talking about is like I see like a table beat kind of sound behind, going behind the song, driving the song. And so before he got to my house and on, on a later date, like a couple weeks later to start hashing out production, I just went around my house with my Zoom, which this yeah, guy, this, this guy right here. He literally just went around and started banging on walls, banging on walls, on plates, candles, just oh, everything you could think of. Yes, yeah, Cliff Bar wrapper. Yes. This beat is completely made out of all Organic those things stuff. I sampled right before he got there. So like- Imagine plates. This, that's me. That's me hitting a chair like this is me hitting like the thing that a candle stands on. 
Oh, really? I thought it was a plate or something. Mm -mm, not a plate. And there's one more thing, actually, that was used melodically. This mm. thing. This was me actually hitting a glass with like mm. a pin or something. So. We love y'all. Go check out Hey Lady. And go check it out as well. <laughs> All right, that works. Original five, yeah. <laughs> Nothing to lose. Can I wipe you up soon? We got nothing to lose.